Laundry with ITSEC TV. We are here at the STEM Pavilion with these wonderful students. How are you guys? Pretty, Pretty good. 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 Um, please introduce yourselves and tell us uh, why you're here. Um, hi, I'm Rhea Nair and I'm here with our first robotics competition team for Middleton High School. Hi, my name is Raymond Burge. I'm the Chief Operations Officer on Team 1369. I'm just here with the robot. Awesome. Uh, hi, my name is Luke Dias. I'm a senior mentor of Team uh, FRC 1369 Minotaur. Okay. Hi, my name is Jeffrey Potvin, and I'm also a senior mentor for Team 1369 Minotaur. Right on. Perfect. Thank you for being here. So tell us um, a little bit about the program. So the program that we're here with is a FIRST, which stands for Inspiration and Recognition of Science and Technology. It's a group that runs all the way from elementary to high school through, um, uh, that starts with FIRST LEGO League Junior, then FIRST LEGO League, FIRST Tech Challenge, and then here with FIRST Robotics Competition. Uh, so it builds up character through the students, it builds leadership skills, it builds um, responsibilities to the teammates, it gives them great hands-on skills in the field. So it's a really great program and it's truly changed where I want to do in my life. That's so exciting. Yeah. Um, how would uh, different students get involved? So, I mean, we have so many different options on here. I mean, so we have design of the robot, there's fabrication, there's leadership, there's what Rhea does, where she's very uh, operational and technical. Uh -huh. um, so she does a lot of our business plans and stuff because there's all different awards at the competition you can win. Uh -huh. uh, there's outreach awards, so doing things for uh, the community, doing things for different countries. Um, so there's always a lot of really good opportunities. And of course, there's always all the robot stuff. So building the robot, designing the robot, fabricating the robot. So there's a lot of really great opportunities. Wow, no doubt. So um, let's talk a little bit about the robot that you brought. All right, so um, here we have a robot that basically has, um, it's powered by two drive or gearboxes that are on the drivetrain. Uh, you really can't see the camera. And we um, have an elevator. So this is the elevator, and it actually can extend up to eight feet to score um, game components that we had. So every year we get a different game that's released, and then we have about six weeks to build the robot and then prepare for competitions. Mm -hmm. And um, then we go and compete with the robot, and we can go to the world championship if we're good enough and stuff like that. So. Wonderful. What do you think was the hardest part about um, putting this together? The hardest part about putting it together was um, probably the integration of everything. So like we design all of our um, mechanisms like separately and then mm -hmm. we have to put it all together. We have to find out how we're going to put all the wires through, how we're going to run the chain and all of that. So. Wow. Do you have any plans for next year at all? Um, for next year, we hopefully plan on going to the World Championship again and then um, also just building a really good robot and making a difference in the community. Yes, so. I love it. That's so great, you guys. Thank you for being here. Mm -hmm. Is there anything else that we should touch on that you want to um, talk about? I just want to let more people know that STEM is always an option, and a lot of people, at um, when they start in elementary school, they're not really aware of STEM careers, so just increasing the um, awareness of that is really important, and that's kind of what FIRST does with um, the different levels, like students get involved at younger ages, and they can find out if it's something they're interested in and continue on throughout the years, and then that's how we have more people working in STEM. Them. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. You guys, good luck and uh, have you. fun at ITSEC. Thank you. Stay tuned for more at ITSEC TV.